guys, we just got a new set of wheels here, and I'm just going to show you um, how I prepped them before I put them on a car. Uh, between getting the tires prepped to get the mold release agents off, and then, like I said, I already spray cleaned the wheels from all the gunk. When you mount the tires, it's like a, like a silicone type of solution. And then I'm going to do a coat of colonite on the face of the rim and on the barrel of the rim. And I just want to show you guys what we do uh, when we're doing a wheel and tire upgrade. So we're first going to start with uh, the tires. Like I show here, we're going to have just a cheap microfiber towel with some mineral spirits. And we're just going to go all the way around the sidewall of each tire. And this is going to take all the mold release agents off, and you guys can see what's on the towel. Okay, so it's nice and clean. So when we put the tire dressing on the car, it's going to look good. It's not going to look like it's trying to dissolve the mold release agents. And you guys can see, I'll get a closer look. You guys can see the tire. And it's spotless. It looks perfect. Okay. And there's the face of the wheel. Like I said, I just gave it a quick once over. Now I'm going to give them a coat of colonite 815, which seems to work outstanding with repelling brake dust and making any sort of cleaning regimen a hell of a lot easier. All right, guys. So, like I said, this is what I use. On a lot of my cars, on pretty much all of my cars and wheels, is the Colonite 815. I don't use any of that rim wax or any of that other junk. And you're just going to want to go and liberally cover the entire face of the wheel. Now, like I said, this wheel has, you know, a split five spoke design, but it's a little bit of an intricate design. And they're going to be a bitch to clean, I'm sure. And always go where the lug nuts go, like I'm showing you here. And this is going to make your job so much easier uh, when you clean the wheels. And like I said, if you're using an acid type of wheel cleaner, this protection is not going to last as long as if you're using an alkaline pH balance type of a cleaner on your wheels. So it really depends what you're using. But... Uh, just wanted to show you, this is what we do, and this is a black wheel, so you guys could get a good visual of exactly what we're doing. I already did the barrels on all four wheels. That's done. That's not really exciting to watch. Uh, but it's, you know, you're just going to go around the barrel, let it haze, wipe it off. The finish on, on a lot of these wheels on the barrels is not that great. Uh, I consider it like a dry finish where, like, there's not a lot of paint or powder coat or whatever they're using on these wheels they're just not getting very, very thick, uniform, high gloss coverage or a, or a nice matte coverage. So don't, don't go too crazy. I mean, you want to have some protection on the barrels, but don't think you're going to polish them out and make them look like the face of the wheel. The manufacturing companies, I don't think they intended that to ever be the case. And that's probably why they shortchange when they're doing the, uh, the finishing process during manufacturing. So we're going to let that sit. Uh, for about three to five minutes, and I'm going to come back with a clean yellow microfiber towel, the uh, ones from the chemical guys that I use. And we're just going to buff this off, and we're going to go down the line, and that's pretty much what it is. And then when you get it on the car, we'll apply the tire dressing, and we're good to go. So if you do slip up and you get a little wax on your tire, don't worry about it, because you take the rag with the mineral spirits, and... It just eats it right up, so don't worry about that. Okay? So stay tuned. I'm going to show you this wheel in a couple of minutes when it's all finished. All right, guys, we're back. We're going to take the Colonite 815 off the wheels now. Like I said, it's pretty easy. The whole trick to using this product is you don't want it to flash and dry too long. So you're going to go over the wheel like I'm showing here. You're going to want to get a majority of the residue off to start, and it'll make your life a lot easier. And then you're going to go over it again to give it its final buff and residue removal. 
Because if you leave this stuff on a black rim or on a black car and you walk away and you come back a half hour later, you're going to hate life because this stuff does not come off easily because it's a really good wax. And that's kind of like what you guys want. I mean, I know there's a lot of guys that are doing ceramic coatings on wheels. And it's funny because I talk to those manufacturers and I say straight up, I'm like, seriously, how good does it work? Oh, well, you know, it doesn't really help with scratches. It, it just helps a little bit with the brake dust. It doesn't last too long. And they're charging like 600 bucks and sometimes even more just to do your rims. And I'm like saying to myself, why bother? I mean, it's a set of wheels. They're going to get trashed anyway. They're going to get banged up, you know, with road debris. And you're going to be washing these things aggressively. And, uh, you know, some guys take them to track. You're going to get pebbles and rock chips all over the place. But, uh, yeah, like I said, that ceramic coating thing, I'm sure it works well. But uh, from being in the industry and talking to people that I know at the wheel manufacturers and the people that sell that stuff all day long, they say it's, yeah, it's one of those things where it's hit or miss. So that's just insider information that I'm trying to pass on to you guys that, you know, you don't need to spend all that money to protect your rims. I mean, some of these rims today, they're so inexpensive. Uh, and it's also inexpensive to refinish a set of reels if you have a good friend that's in the business. You get it down between, you know, 500, 600 bucks, even if you wanted to do a color change and stuff like that. So it's not bad. And uh, this rim is done. I mean, you guys could see it. It looks outstanding. You know, considering that the finish on these wheels and a lot of wheels, it's not done to like a Concor level standard where they're painting it and color sanding it. No, no, no. This is, this is mass production. So this is the best you're going to get them to look. I think uh, if you waste your time trying to uh, get these wheels or any other wheels to look any better, I think you're just wasting a hell of a lot of your time. And it's not necessary. So here we go. So I'm going to get the camera a little closer for you guys and I'm going to show you. And you guys can see. You know, there's some dust. And that's just from the uh, static electricity. But you guys can see, the wheel looks mint. And this is going to give some protection, you know. And I usually do the wheel wax at least four times a year. And uh, it'll just make cleaning your wheels a hell of a lot easier. And just constant maintenance. I mean, if you have a black wheel, I highly recommend doing this. If you have a gunmetal or a silver or a machine wheel, you know, with a clear coat, you know, I recommend doing it as well. But those finishes don't show as much as a black wheel. And like I said, black wheels are so popular today. Uh, this is just a good little preventative maintenance to make them look good down the road. So like I said, guys, mineral, mineral spirits on a cheap microfiber towel first. And then uh, spray, spray glaze the, the face of the wheel. I use the Chemical Guys VL7. Let it dry and then go back over with the Colonite 815. Let it flash for about three to five minutes, buff it off, rebuff it off, get it on the car, and uh, you guys are good to go. Hope you guys like this quick video on uh, preparation for new rims and tires before you throw them on your car. See you guys soon. Well, guys, they're on the car. You can see, I'll get the camera up close. A little bit of prep before you bolt them on the car. And look how good they look. So these are the P51 wheels for the Shelby GT350. There's going to be a separate video on these coming up in a few days. Because this is the third set of wheels that has been on my car in the last three weeks. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be cool because I got the Michelin Pilot MP4S's. And apparently these wheels are the lightest single piece rotary forged wheel available for the GT350. These are 21 pounds each versus the heavier 6GR wheels which were between 24 to 27 pounds and then the OEM wheels which are over 30 pounds. So I'm going to do a thorough uh, you know, back to back analysis of how the car feels with the different wheels and tires soon. but. Just wanted to show you the before and after, and they're on the car. So, see you guys soon.